Hello everyone. My name is Patrick Wilkinson and I'm an adjunct professor in the Anthropology Department at the University of Wyoming. I'm here to talk to you about our faculty-led study abroad program that we're putting together for next winter, the archaeology of the Maya Lowlands, Mexico, Belize, and Guatemala. The plan is for faculty and students to meet on December 29th, 2021 at the Cancun Airport. From there, we're going to check into the BC Cancun Plaza Hotel. This is in the hotel zone in Cancun, right on the main beach. We're going to be here for five nights. Our first full day, we're going to spend exploring Tulum and Coba. Our second day, we're going to go visit Chichen Itza and the Ilkil Cenote. The third day will be spent at Zeret, which is a uh, water-themed amusement park, but also has a ton of culturally uh, significant activities, such as Maya sky dancing, uh, colonial Spanish horse show, things like that. We're going to be driving down into Belize, and once we cross the border into Belize, our first stop is going to be at Ciros. This is a uh, a uh, set of ruins that's on the coast and it's famous for its stucco masks that you see here. After Cirrus, we're going to be checking into the Lamini Landings Hotel. Um, the reason that we're staying at Lamini Landings is so that we can take their boat tour up the New River to Lamini. And on this tour, we'll see spider monkeys, crocodiles, things like that. Then we get to Lamini, the slide is missing a photograph, but we'll see the largest Maya site in northern Belize and uh, also the ruins of the British sugar mill. After we leave uh, Lamini, the next day we're going to check out of the hotel and drive south. On the way we're going to stop at Altoon Ha. Uh, this is a coastal trading site um, famous for some of the artifacts that were found there. We're going to continue driving south to Placencia, where we're going to be staying at the Les Caribs uh, condos. We have four condos reserved, a three-bedroom, a two-bedroom, and two one-bedroom condos, right on the beach with a pool. Our first full day in Placencia, we're going to visit Lubantun. Lubantun is where the Mitchell Hedges skull was reportedly found. It wasn't. He was a liar, but this is the story. The next day we're going to visit Nimli Put, which is a um, large site named after this guy. Uh, it translates roughly as man with a big hat. And we're going to be having a day off down there. This will be the opportunity for those of you that are scuba certified to go scuba diving. If you're not scuba certified, there are snorkeling trips or just hanging out on the beach. After we check out of the hotel in Placencia, we're going to drive north again to San Ignacio, and on the way we'll stop in Dangriga. In Dangriga, we're going to visit the uh, Garifuna Museum and the Serapon Sugar Mill site. We'll continue up towards San Ignacio, and we're going to stop at the Belize Zoo for about an hour. It's a very small zoo, but this will be the opportunity to see the native wildlife that we're probably not going to see in the wild, including jaguars, tapirs, things like that. In San Ignacio, we're going to be checking in the Cajalpesh Village Resort. This is a hotel perched on top of the hill overlooking the city. Uh, has pools, a restaurant, the rooms are nice and clean, um, and we'll be staying here for five nights. Our first full day in San Ignacio, we're going to start off at the Cajalpesh Ruins, which are about 300 yards from our hotel. We're going to spend the morning here, we'll have lunch in uh, San Ignacio, and then we'll drive up the Belize River Valley to the site of Shenantanich. So Shenantanich is the largest site in the Belize River Valley, and it's extremely close to the Guatemalan border. Uh, to get to it, we have to take a hand-cranked ferry across, across the Belize River. The next day will be one of the highlights of the trip, and this will be the trip into Guatemala to see Tikal. We're going to be using a tour company for this. They're going to pick us up at the hotel. We're going to ride in their bus 
probably an old school bus, over, and we'll be back at our hotel that night. The day after that, we'll be visiting the Aktun Tunichil McNoll Cave, commonly referred to as ATM. Uh, this is the number one tourist site in Belize. To enter the cave, you have to swim in about 50, 60 feet. Inside the cave, there are the remains of um, ritual sacrifice victims. And then our last day in San Ignacio, we'll be using that same tour company to visit Caracol. Caracol is the largest site in Belize, and the Ka'an, which is this pyramid, is still the tallest and largest building in Belize. Then our last full day down there, we're going to drive all the way back up to Cancun, and we're going to check back into the BC Cancun Plaza Hotel for our last night. And then the next day, everybody flies home. These are the sites we'll visit on the trip. Starting at the top, we have Cancun, Il Kill, um, Chichen Itza, Coba, Tulum, Cerros, Altunha, Lamanai, ATM, Cajopesh, Shenantanich, Tikal, Dangriga, Caracol, Placencia, Lubantun, and Nimliput. So what does this cost? We're still work working on that. Um, once all the accommodations and tour companies have given us their invoices, we can be the, begin the budgeting process. Um, and as soon as I have a better cost per student uh, idea, I will update the presentation. But right now, we're looking at $2,900 per student plus tuition and fees. That $2,900 is the worst case. I think we're going to be able to drop that down quite a bit um, as soon as we start getting the final numbers. And that's it. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact me at pwilkin1 at uyo.edu or at patrickrwilkinson at gmail.com. I have a much longer video I can share with you if you're interested. Thank you.